you if anybody would like a picture of it this is your chance we're just going to yes. stop up here on the left is Does anybody recognise it from the, the television? No? You don't? No. no. Okay. It's like Harry Potter. I've never seen Harry Potter either. No? And what's the other one? That, the Lord of the Rings or something? I've never seen that either. British Open's been played here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in here, yeah. You'll, uh, I mean, it's a typical Lynx course. You know, it's it's it looks pretty benign, doesn't it? A bit like St Andrews, but it's this what's coming off the water. You know, that's uh, the, the the tides and the winds and etc., which makes a big difference. Coming by here normally you wouldn't even know it's just a nice gentle course, but they're really building it up. The 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 open village etc. is all. It was well in place two or three weeks ago, so you can see where it's where it's up to now. Right, look at this. The right. You see, there's the, all the courtesy vehicles. You see, with all the you know to pick people up. You know, indeed. The open. Yeah, Mercedes Benz. You, right? you clearly that stuff. You know, but the, the containers, etc. People who have these holiday homes across on the left, they can they can rent them out, you know, for the during the duration of time. Like St Andrews. That was still a thing, I believe. Yeah. Well, they open the hundred and forty eighth. Rush. Port Rush. One more. You see the claret jug on the side of the jar there. I wonder if that's the score. That may be the score. Uh, you know, where they're going to send the cars. Could well be there when they come off the, the 18th, huh? I would think. Yeah, yeah, it's not round. Sure is. Look at the shop over there. And these, oh, look at this. Deary me, this has gone up yeah. just in the last couple of weeks, even more so. Open deliveries, wow. Yeah, they can lift these out just now. You know that's fine. Don't please don't stand up in the coach if they're overhead or anything. But you will need them uh, when we stop at the uh, at area. Yeah? Thirty. That will give you an hour and a half. Not too long. I don't think. What do you think? Okay. Let's hold hands and contact the living again back there. Come on, chaps. <laughs> Look at the bridge on the right hand side here folks, that's the Peace Bridge, 2011. We're going to meet Brendan just on the, up, at Ronan on the opposite side. I want to keep calling them Ronan, I've read that, I don't know why. But that's the Peace Bridge, you'll be able to take pictures of that also.
more time if you want it, but I don't think on a Sunday, I don't think you'll be able to I'll just kick to an hour and a half, but half hasn't been. To an hour and a half probably would be enough time for you here, quite frankly. I like the statue here on the end, you see this is uh, symbolic of the two different uh, communities reaching across the void hand to hand, you see? Cool, isn't it? Yeah. Round we go. And we're going all the way around. Round, 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 keep going round, that's it. The left there, that's it. Super. Is the guild hall here folks and let's see if Ron and our Irish guide is here for us. He's pretty good time wise there he is. Uh, thank you Ian. Uh, good afternoon everybody. Uh, welcome uh, to Derry. Welcome to London Derry. My name is Ron and Mac Namara. Uh, just in case you think your eyes are deceiving you, uh, there's no need to adjust. I just happen to have a Chinese mum and an Irish dad. So uh, my friends call me Chirish and I have a mum who is a Buddhist uh, one might say she's neither a Protestant Buddhist nor a very large British army base uh, called Everington Barracks. And it was a base since 1830 of uh, St. Uh, Eugene's Cathedral, a uh, Catholic cathedral dating back to 1873. But keep your eyes uh, to your right hand side, you'll see a mural of uh, four faces Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King and a local man by the name of John Hume, who received the Nobel Prize uh, for Peace. Also, if you look to your right, you'll see a mural that says Civil Rights Anti-Sectarian. Uh, one man, one vote, jobs not creed. Now, the issue of housing, uh, voting and jobs is something we'll talk about in much greater detail in a few minutes. But uh, maybe what I'm uh, going to get right to do is just pull in uh, here to the left-hand side for a, a couple of minutes. And in front of you, uh, you're going to see a wall which says you are now entering a free dairy. Well, you have a familiar tale in that if you've been to Belfast, um, I mean, you're aware that we have an issue of identity, in that we see ourselves as either British or Irish. Uh, personally, I like to give you both sides of the coin. This is the British rule, a free dairy in a united Ireland. Uh, this was in 1972 during an event called Bloody Sunday. A very famous Irish rock band by the name of U2 wrote a song called Sunday Bloody Sunday. It's the army. Another tribunal, 2010, Lord Savile says all 14 victims. Sadly, more young people, not less, were joining the IRA after Bloody Sunday. And so, you know, you can only imagine it became a whole series of tit for tat killings like all of these civil wars end up doing. Time. And across from the Free Dairy Wall, you'll see a mural of a young woman. Don't know if any of you have heard of her. Her name was Bernadette Devlin at uh, 22 years of age. She became the youngest person ever elected as a member of parliament in Westminster. She herself survived an assassination attempt in 1981. Also, there's a very striking image of a young man with a gas mask about to throw a petrol bomb, which again would have been a familiar sight here during the 1970s. And a very poignant mural here on the right-hand side of a 14-year-old girl by the name of Annette McGavigan, who tragically became the first child victim of Northern Ireland's troubles when she died in 1971. Having a daughter myself, that mural that just reminds me of the futility of the conflict. I mean, I have to say personally, it never mattered whether it was a Catholic girl, a Protestant girl, or a police officer, it was always a somebody's child. As we make our way up over the flyover, take a look up to your left hand side. Can you see the historic walls? Which very shortly we will do a little orientation along. Now, I'm trying to do a section of the walls that hopefully will be suitable for everybody. In other words, I mean, it's not a walk of Himalayan proportions. It's really just my stretch of the legs along part of the wall. Now, on the left-hand side is the Long Tower Catholic Church, 1783, site of an old church called the Chapel Moor, the Irish for the big church. And up to the right-hand side in the distance, the city cemetery, where a very famous hymn writer, 
laid to rest in the name of Cecil Francis Alexander. Her husband was an Anglican bishop, but she herself was a Sunday school teacher, and to inspire the children, well, she wrote children's hymns. And they that study, the golden gates are lifted up. So if you look left, can you see the lovely spire there of St. Columbus Cathedral? Anglican Cathedral, 1633. Named after our local patron saint, St. Colum, St. Columba, or St. Colum Kill. Now we'll talk more about that uh, in a few minutes because we'll be passing by where St. Colum is said to have established Christianity in the early 6th century. But in the meantime, the street is called. Bishop Street. At the gate ahead, well, that's Bishop's Gate on the other side, and do our little orientation along part of the walls. You all breathe in for Mr. Ryan. What a man. Give Ryan a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as Ryan opens his eyes again, he's going to pull up here inside this lovely old building uh, across from the uh, courthouse. Shortly, uh, we will be coming off doing our little tour along part of the walls. Uh, the boss, Mr. Ian, has left me the voice box, uh, so don't forget your little uh, voice boxes and uh, your ear pieces. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You will all let
so as we said the ear small bags are still underneath folks so uh, we got them to take in only the big bags uh, 